I am today going to very quickly show you how to set Grand Theft Auto, or Auto, sorry, this is Auto then, Grand Theft Auto in virtual reality. And this is the latest way I've got, because they keep updating the game, they keep changing things and breaking the mod, so I'm having to change things a little bit. So I put everything, because there'd normally be about three or four files you've got, drag and drop into your game folder. I'm going to do it all with just one file. It's all in one file, and this is how you do it. First of all, open this up. Go over here. Select Grand Theft Auto 5. Right click on it. Go down to Manage. Across and then down to Browse Local Files. And we'll open this up. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm going to put this over here. And what you want to do, you've got to be careful you don't drop anything into these folders. I'm going to make a little bit of room. So this, this is what you've just downloaded. Select that and drag it and drop it in there. Like I said, make sure you don't drop it into any folders. And then select it, right click and select extract here. Then it yes to all. Do, 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 do. And that's it, it's extracted everything. Now leave that, uh, RAR file in there because next time that well not next time but every time that Rockstar update the game all you have to do is come here open the game fold up right click on it and select extract here you don't have to do what I'm going to do next just do that and it should fix the uh, the mod but you're installing it this time so this time once you've extracted it you have to scroll down a little bit until you find this real config double click on that and you'll get a choice H for I M for medium and L for low these are your graphics settings I always select M and I'm running this on a 36 and I'm connected with a cable you can use uh, what can you use now oh you can use that uh, one what's it called I forgot what it's called. Well, one you can't use is Virtual Desktop. Erlink, that's the one. You can use Erlink, but not Virtual Desktop. I'm going to select Medium. And there, it's copied all the files, and I'm going to just press any key on my keyboard again. And that's it. Now, once you've got the game running, if you want to mess about with uh, the graphics, you can do. If you want to install a graphics mod, you can do. But graphics mods that use... Uh, shaders don't work I've got a link for one that does work I'll leave that again in the description now one other thing you're going to do before you leave here is you're going to come all the way up here and you're going to look for the command line double click on that so you look at it open up and it's 1080 by 1080 this is that's your resolution and you can change that to 1920 by 1920 let me just lift my headset up a little bit so I'm going to change this to 1920 then select save well select file sorry and click on save now you can close that and that's done everything's done Michael yes everything is done close that down and we're going to start the game I'm using a gamepad because you can't use move controllers I know some people will be upset about that, but this game is awesome. It really doesn't matter. I've only ever played this game with a gamepad, so it doesn't make any difference to me. The only difference is, is that I'm actually inside the game. And when you're driving or flying a plane or 
sailing a boat, it actually feels like you're driving and sailing a boat. If you get anything from Rockstar saying it needs to update like your the launcher or the social club, then you select yes. Uh, this should all happen. If you get anything from if you get uh, a message saying, do you want to look for a more up-to-date script hook, the answer is always no. The script hook you need for this game is built into the mod. Ooh, see, look, it's 2612. That's what it should say. I've got a drink somewhere, but I can't see it. And I need a drink. I'm going to have a smoke. That's not nicotine in that vape, I can assure you of that. Right, so here we are. Oh. There you go, settings. You can change the settings now if you want, but I'm not going to do I'm going to go into story mode. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Now, the way this gives you a 3D effect is by using something called altered, alternate eye rendering. It's actually a, an opt optical illusion. Some people's brains fall for it, some, some people's brains don't. Right, so here we are. So, first thing you should do is just shake your head like that. That will recenter your point of view. Isn't this beautiful? Now this is on all settings are quite low, well, medium to low. I'll show you my settings. First thing you should do as well is uh, go into camera and look for, see that first person bobbing there? Make sure that's off. You don't want that on, it's shite. It really is shit. Uh, and there's your graphic settings. Look, they're all on low or off. Now, once you've got the game going, like we have now, you can come in here and you can start messing about with these. Population density, we like to turn that up a bit. Uh, I can turn all these up. I'm not going to do. I'm running this on a 3060 with a cable. I think I've already pointed that out. Look, normal. Shader quality, shadow quality. We can... All these are normal, and you can have these up high. I like my water high, very high. Anyway, you can sort that out. Oh, we'll cancel that for the time being. There. Uh, you can sort your settings out once you've got the game going. And like I said, just shake your head like that. That'll recenter it. Let's go outside and have a look. Look at this. And this is with no graphics mods. I'll put a link for a graphics mod in the in the description. Always read the description because you never know what might have changed. Should we get on the bike? Or should we get in the car? So you can you can go away now if you want to. This is how you install it. But if you want to see how it plays, and I get about what between 70 and 90 frames per second. It's it's just look, what more do you want? And uh at the risk of repeating myself, let's just have a look outside here. Hi there. Look, it looks, once you've turned all the settings up, it looks much, much better. And with all the settings pretty high, you get very good frame rates. Like I said, 70 to 90 frame rates. I've got a couple more videos on it. And you can see how, how well it looks when all the graphics are turned up. And when you've got a, a graphics mod installed. I think it's called Make Visuals Great Again. I'm just going to do something now because I don't like the altered eye rendering. Uh, is it? Yeah, altered eye rendering. Alternate eye rendering, the A-E-R. I just don't like it. Some people notice it, some people don't. So I'm just going to lift my headset up a little bit and I'm going to tap F11 on my keyboard and then I'm going to press 2 on my numpad. You're going to make sure your numpad's turned on otherwise this won't work. And this will turn that off. And it, what it does, it stops any shimmering that you might see, especially when you're driving. And it also gives you a little bit of a boost, performance boost. Let's have a look.
there, you won't notice any difference because it's an optical illusion. And you only notice it when you've got the headset on. Ooh, this is a brilliant, you know, you just can do everything in it. Flying, sailing, driving, killing, raping. Maybe you shouldn't do that last one. You shouldn't do any of them really, unless you're fully qualified and you've got your license. You can do everything, can't you? It's just excellent. It's an excellent game. I thought I'd say excellent instead of brilliant. And you can also attach a steering wheel to this. Look, we've got it up and running. Piece of piss. Yeah, you can attach a steering wheel to this, and that is really that's that's very intense. That when you do that, you can also what else can you do? You can do all kinds of things. You can attach, well you can, it's got it's built in train, I think you have to press F5 for that. But you can also install one called uh, Menu, which is brilliant. You can change the weather, you can build yachts. This is excellent. Shall we get out and kill somebody? And I don't mind the gamepad. I, I really don't. I can just sit back and relax. That's why I do gaming and VR, so I can relax. I don't want my arms stretched out in front of me. I haven't got anything attached to my feet, so, but it's still VR. Like I said, I've, I've coped fine up to now without any feet tracking or arse tracking or anything, any other part of my body tracking. It's just my head and my hands. And I'm fine with my head. Man, that's dumb luck right there. So, that's it. Isn't it brilliant? And trust me. When you've got the graphics mod and all the uh, settings turned up, it looks even better still. I'll link as well uh, a video or a couple of videos showing you how to install the graphics mod. Also, I'll put a link in the description for how to, uh, well, what the best settings are for a 3060. I'll just show you my settings. Wow, well, I could spend all day here. Even with settings turned on like this, looking a bit shitty. It still looks, it still runs better than most native VR games I've played. And I've played a lot. Anyway. You aim with your head. I know some people don't like it, but you get used to it really, really quick. Planes I can shoot down? No. Let's pinch a car and run away. Well, I've blown the, white, uh, the wheels off that. Let's shoot these people because they're not doing anything. Oh, can you go in here? Can I go in there? Yeah. Police are coming. Let's uh, run away. I forgot how to run away. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Let's get in this. You. Yeah, just get out, Max. And you. We're going to hell. Yeah. Start to shake me out then. Do 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 do. Mirror shit. You can mess about with other mods if you want as well. There are quite a few that do work, but many of them don't. And if you mess it all up, all you have to do is extract the mod again. And if you mess the settings and everything, then just click on the reconfigure, and that will reset all the settings. Hey, come on, Pop. Oh, a few people. 
Anyway, I'm going. Bye. Like Manchester isn't always right. But his content isn't always shite. His gaming guides are a piece of piss to follow. And sometimes he will play a game so we can see how shit it is. Makes content is mostly shite. But sometimes it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But mostly shite. Content isn't always shite His gaming guides are a piece of piss to follow And sometimes he will play a game So we can see how shit it is Mixed content is mostly shite But sometimes it's brilliant Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant But mostly shite But mostly